Heart disease is a leading cause of death globally. The most common form of heart disease is coronary heart disease, a condition affecting the blood vessels that supply the heart. In 2008, around 7.3 million people died from this condition. We are told that high cholesterol levels are a major risk factor for coronary heart disease. Stop any person on the street, including children, and ask them what causes heart disease, they'll tell you. They know the word cholesterol. It's quite a complicated chemical word. And children already know it from a very young age. We now seem to worry about cholesterol levels as much as heart disease itself. And a new disease known as hypercholesterolemia has emerged. In the United States, it's part of a yearly ritual to get your cholesterol level managed. And you think that your cholesterol level is like your overall grade on your, uh, on your future health. The focus on cholesterol has also led to a global cholesterol-lowering industry that generates billions of dollars each year for pharmaceutical companies and food manufacturers. You just can't get away from high cholesterol. More than 40 million people now take medications known as statins to lower their cholesterol levels. Statins have become one of the most widely prescribed categories of drugs in medical history. These are the number one profit makers for the pharmaceutical industry. These are the darlings of the pharmaceutical industry. This is their babies. However, a number of doctors and researchers have for decades been questioning the role cholesterol plays in heart disease. People believe it to be true. They believe they've read it, they've read it, they've read it. It's not there. It's just non-existent. And strong evidence exists to suggest that the benefits of statins have been exaggerated by pharmaceutical companies keen to increase their profits. A lot of the facts that we are given are actually somewhat manipulated. Doctors are not trained in nutrition. They know no more than you do. It's a very hierarchical world medicine. International opinion leaders say, the national opinion leaders agree, no one's going to stand up and go, well, I don't believe that. This stands as organized crime, but there's a lot more money in this. And in fact, many, many more people get hurt.